Chucky gets lucky. Here's your look at the new NECA Toys Bride of Chucky Ultimate Chucky and Tiffany set. The world's most notorious doll is back on the rampage, but this time he's met his match, his old flame Tiffany, who with marriage in mind rescues his parts from a police impound and breathes new life into the little guy. But will she still want his homicidal heart after he cuts her down to his size? So begins a hilarious new adventure filled with gruesome splatter, murderous mayhem, and laughs galore. To finally get this review underway, I know it was a long time coming, we're going to first figure out how tall the figure stands. So taking the Ultra Measuretron and putting it at the very top of Chucky's head and stopping it right there. According to the Ultra Measuretron 5000, this tape measure of mine, the figure stands 4.2 inches in height, which in centimeters for Chucky works out to be 10.7 centimeters in height. Now let's go ahead and do the exact same thing with Tiffany put it right to the very top of her head. I think she is a little bit taller than Chucky. Maybe not. I'm gonna stop the Ultra Measuretron 5000 right there. I think it is just shy. They're probably the exact same height of figure. I've clocked her in at 4.1, but it'd be no surprise at all if she was actually 4.2. So these are probably exactly in same scale to one another, same height at least. 10.6 centimeters, but again, I think she's closer to Chucky's height. In fact, the old-fashioned way of doing things, we can just put the figures back to back, this is what you did when you were growing up, and just leveling off their feet. Tiffany, yeah, it does look like she is a little bit taller than Chucky, not by much, just a, a hair taller, literally and figuratively, hair taller than Chucky. So there are the figures, at least from their height standpoint. Let's start this review now by having a look at all the accessories, and they do come with a fair share of accessories that come included with this set. Yes, like I said, there is a lot of accessories that come included with this set. So where do we start? Well, why don't we start at the heart of it, and that is the heart of Dumbala. A, as you can see, a little amulet that appears in Bride of Chucky. Very nicely done and exquisitely added very nicely by uh, NECA Toys to a chain. So it's got a real working chain. The smallest, as you can see, there you go, even the smallest scripture is printed on the back of the Heart of Dumbala. You can see that the jewel is featured there on the front. The smallest, like I said, of trinkets. I guess there are a few things that are smaller than the Heart of Dumbala, but again, nice that they would have included this with this two-pack. Moving along, uh, where do we start? Where do we possibly start? Okay, so we get a, sh a his and her uh, shovels. There we go. They are different to one another. And I'm sure they have probably seen appearances before. I'd have to go back, say, for example, and check, like, my Jason Voorhees figures. I wonder if any of the, either of these uh, shovels have made previous appearances. Either way though, researching aside, uh, the heads of the shovels are very nicely done. They are different also to one another. The smaller one seems to have a slightly more brownish coloring to the otherwise silver nature of the head. Whereas this shovel is much more pristine, much more silver at the very least. You can see a little bit of the brush strokes in there as well, but I mean, really, if this is a metal shovel, I mean, it would make some sense that you could see slight variations to the way that the metal is made on the on the bottom there. Um, both are, as you can see, slightly washed as well, being a, way past the point of just even looking at the brush strokes. Like you can see, they've added just a little bit of a brown trim to it, and they've added a little bit of a wash there to where the shovel will attach to the wooden handle. Wooden handle 
gets the point across for looking like uh, like a faux wood. Add a little bit of like a wash to that as well. This smaller shovel, smaller of the two at least, comes with a handle. The longer one does not. Very nicely done. Possibilities for certainly the way you can display the figures. I kind of started the review thinking, oh, we're going to have some fun with some shovels. I'm sure when it comes to eventually displaying these, which I will most definitely be doing, I'll likely be displaying them probably with their their knives, I think, or maybe then axe. Speaking of axe, why not segue ourselves then into the red-handled axe that comes also included? You can see that they've even added the end in which the head of the the axe would have been attached to the wooden handle here. Wooden handle here is done in uh, in, in red, I should say. Other than that, you've got some nice silver that's been added to the blade portion of it. It's not sharp, but it's got a nice little beveled edge to it. And again, a nice little accompanying piece. The hardest part, really, when it comes to, to these, as you'll probably see over the course of this review, is just sort of deciding what you want to display the figures with. Case in point as well, there is a knife, a smaller serrated knife, and then there's a much larger, um, you know, more of a, not quite a cleaver, but a larger household knife. Two household knives, I guess. Package-wise, I think they actually sports Chucky wielding this one and T Tiffany wielding this one, but you could either, you could certainly mix and match them. You want to give, say, Tiffany this knife and Chucky this knife, you could certainly do that. Uh, both of them have the rivet points that have been painted in there as well. You can also see where the metal has been sandwiched by the, or I should say the blade, the metal blade has been sandwiched by the plastic handle on either side. A small touch, but again, I really appreciate that NECA would include stuff like that. Because a company could easily just paint that in all in black. And probably not many people will cry foul about it. I might. I don't know. I don't think I would. But Also included is a pistol. And a smaller pistol. I don't know if you would call the smaller gun by this, by this point a still a pistol. Not sure the correct terminology for handguns. This one looks like it's a little rougher. Um, you can still get the silver on the top there. And this is a slightly darker gray versus the black handle here. It just kind of seems like it's not finished as much. The smaller one gets much more silver treatment and lighter brown. Um, it does look like, like the brown has missed the handle portion. I mean, this small, this is likely going to be in one of their hands anyways. You're probably not going to see it, but it does look like the brown has missed a little bit. Again, a very, very small little nitpick. A couple of pistols there as well. Oh, we got some hands. What, do we, what else do we have in here? We have the, of course, the bottle of champagne. -y. Champagne. It has been corked. Don't worry, it's not going to spill. There's nothing inside there, but a nice slightly tinted uh, bottle there. Slightly greenish tint. Nice label there featured on the front as well. The foil topping, like I said, has been ripped away, and it does look like it has been corked. Is the cork included? Get out of town. No, it's not. It's too small. It's, you lose it right away. Not that you would lose these right away. You probably wouldn't want to lose these right away, but anybody who has seen the movie probably knows exactly what these are. You've got yourself a little turkey baster, and you've got yourself like a little beaker, a little container of stuff inside stuff from Chucky. Just leave it at that. The turkey baster, and actually the seed of Chucky set, which eventually I would like to go back and do a throwback on, uh, did also come with the little container of Chucky and the beaker as well, the little turkey baster. So it's nice that they include those as well. I'm sort of, as I'm going through the accessories, I'm kind of moving everything over to the side because again, there's really a lot to cover. Then you've got a series of interchangeable hands for Chucky. There's something I want to talk about, at least of the hands, but we'll, I'll probably delve deeper into that. One does have a scar to it. Uh, this hand does not. And this hand does also have a scar. These are just kind of relaxed hands. There's not really much you can do with the relaxed hands because, well, accessory-wise, they're not going to be able to grip anything. 
I guess at the very least, you may be able to grip like larger things, like say, for example, the axe. But yeah, it's not just a, there's not enough finger to thumb covering over top of that. Yeah, it's not going to fit. So you might want to keep it solely to the gripping hands, which so happen to be things I've already added to Chucky's arm sockets. I've already put in the the gripping hands. So we'll talk about that in a second. Tiffany also comes with a series of interchangeable hands one of which I have already changed out, but she does have a gripping, a slightly gripping C-clamp hand, a gripping hand as well. You'll notice fingernails on, on all of them, and also this very small hand. You've got to be careful when you have things like these, because these are certainly things that are going to get lost. So again, I'm just sort of moving it, going through each of the things, boom, 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 and then I'm moving it to the side. Um, I want to actually, you know what, I'm going to talk about Tiffany for a little bit here, then we're going to get off to Chucky. Uh, Tiffany, defaulted out of packaging, does come with the already dyed blonde hair, the leather jacket, and of course the leather sleeves, and of course the wedding dress underneath there. But one thing that's nice that NECA did take the time to include was the original bride doll head. This is what it would have looked like when Chucky gave this to Tiffany don't remember if she actually if he gave it to her or if she already had I think he gave it to her and then proceeded of course afterwards to electrocute her in the bathtub but it's nice that she does come included with the original bride head until of course she dyes the hair now if you want to get her to the original bride doll you're going to simply just take the head pop it off the neck like so I've mentioned this a couple of times already, but I love the fact that NECA doesn't use bulbous ball joints anymore. It really doesn't, it's not necessary for the fact that the socket sits so easily into the hole of the socket of the head. This peg doesn't have to have a big bulbous ball joint on the end. Nine times out of 10, when you do take things like heads off, if the ball joint is so big, it's very difficult to get the head back into place. It's something I'd like to comment on there. We're gonna go ahead and take also the arms off. I don't personally like taking the arms off as much because the peg is a little bit bigger, but at least it's you know it's not gonna break or less likely to break because the ball joints, the pegs are so much bigger. Why am I doing all this, you might ask? Because we're gonna take the jacket right off. Then you can go ahead and put the sleeves, the non-jacketed sleeves onto Tiffany. And again, by this point she would be only the bride doll. I'm gonna pop those into place. There we go. And we can take ourselves a couple of hands. We're gonna make sure we got Chucky's hands or Tiffany's hands and not Chucky's hands. Gonna take that, pop that into place, take the other hand. Where's the other hand? I need another set of hands. There, you know what, we'll just take it off this one. There we go. Pop that into the ball joint like that. Bend the arms. One thing that is a bit tricky is I find the bride's the bride arm as quickly as that happens. Hold on one second. Yes, as I was saying before, the the doll's limb came off. You'll probably see all this white paint flaking off. This has been consistent since I took this figure out of packaging. I did notice that the arm has excessive amounts of white paint on it. I don't really know why it's necessary because you're really not gonna see it. It's gonna be sitting, of course, into the socket area of the torso. But I just wanna mention that there's a lot of white paint sitting on that, that joint. Anyways, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and put the head back on. I've said this frequently, frequently in NECA reviews but for all the interchangeable options that they give you, it really does entertain the idea, for me at least, of getting a second set. If then I could display Tiffany, for example, as the bride doll, and then I would have then a secondary set that I could display Tiffany as what we know and love her in the blonde hair and leather clad jacket. But again, there's the variations of the head sculpts. You may not be all that inclined to display her as such, but. It does say it's a mark to the fact that NECA does put a lot of extra stuff when you buy their figures. It's worth the price of admission. The veil, by the way, um, as you can see, is made of like a meshed material. The lower part of her skirt, of her dress, is also a, a fabric material. The rest of it's plastic. The arms are plastic, torso is plastic. And then also, sorry, sorry, Tiffany. If also you lift that up, you'll see underneath, she is wearing her tights, her army boots. 
and uh, those are posable, but they're also plastic. So you probably aren't going to be wanting to lift her dress up so much. Chucky's probably not going to appreciate that anyways. So that's what she looks like as the bride doll. Let's reverse all those steps. We'll take the head off once again. There we go. Take the arms off. Take the arms off. Again, lots of this white paint flaking off. It doesn't bother me immeasurably because really, at the end of the day, I'm going to be displaying Tiffany with the leather jacket. Personally, that's my own preference. So get that arm back in. Take the other arm, pop that back in. You'll see, and the reasoning why I haven't cut away, I, sim I could have just cut this part of the video out, come back, and then this would have already been all done. But I thought to myself, I'm going to keep this in camera, keep this as a live part of the review so that you guys can see it doesn't take that much time at all to change out, minus of course all this extra paint, it doesn't take very long to change out the head or change out the body, change the bride doll to then the Tiffany. One other thing that Tiffany does also come included with is the angrier Tiffany face. Kind of like this one a little bit more in all honesty. But I mean, I, they fight excessively through the movie and also the sequels. It's nice that they would include this one as well. And there's enough differencing between the two. It's not simply just a case where they've changed something like paint wise. They have sculpted a brand new expression. The mouth is open. The eyes are much angry and much more open, and of course the eyebrows. But the only thing that has been painted to it is different as well than this head sculpt here. If you are interested what that looks like, I'd be more than happy to oblige. It's probably going to be a longer video, but I like to spend, when it comes to NECA releases, I like to spend the necessary time to cover off, drop the arm again, to cover off every little detail I possibly can. If you guys a one-stop shop when it comes to these new upcoming reviews, upcoming or currently released NECA pieces. And there is the head sculpt back in place. We'll show the angrier head sculpt here. You can see a little bit of the dye now, the black hair, the black rooted part of the hair still starting to now show through. Very light colored on the blonde. The jacket, by the way, is a softer plastic. You can see that she is sporting the Chucky tattoo, as she should have right there on her torso area there. Again, you've got the painted na nails. Put the little zippers there as well in her sleeves. The zippers there on the side pockets. You've got the little buckle there as well. Little side zippers. And you've got the zipper on the opening of the jacket. Very, very happy with this figure. Now, me, really, NECA has released... For some reason, my camera, there we go. NECA has released a Tiffany before, but that was the Tiffany that came included with the Seed of Chucky set that also included Glenn. Eventually, I'm going to get around to re-reviewing that. Maybe I'll do a comparison. I'm just going to kind of wipe away the surface. i got all this white paint flake everywhere. So there's Tiffany. Oh, by the way, let's have a look at her posability. Her head rotates all the way around. It hinges up and down and angle back and forth. The shoulders hinge outward. Sometimes when you are moving the arms, once you have changed out the sleeves the first go around, I find every time after the fact when you are moving the arms, sometimes the arms will pop out of their sockets. Like that, as you can see right there. Again, you got all this unnecessary white paint on the inside. Press, 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 get that socket back into place. Uh, her arms bend. She has a forearm swivel. She has a hand swivel. Upper torso is on a ball joint. Again, I'm so sorry, Tiffany. We're just going to lift her dress up for a second. Waist swivels. Uh, the legs split, as you can see right there. A very obvious colored peg difference from the rest of the coloring of her tights. But the dress is, of course, going to cover that. You're really not going to see that. Interestingly enough, it looks like she's got E14 on her lower torso. Swivel at the leg. Uh, she does have a bend at the knee, which also rotates the lower leg. And there is a good close-up look at her army boots. The boots, boots hinge up and down. You can rotate them left and right. And they do have an ankle rocker. So there. Get her dress all back into place. 
decency, decency after all. There is Tiffany, a fantastic release. Put her right, put her right next to Chucky. Next, we'll have a look at Chucky, which is technically now the second ultimate Chucky that we've gotten from NECA Toys. The first one, having already reviewed on this channel, was a Chucky that had various heads, of course, non-ripped uh, coveralls, the good guy coveralls here. And uh, the head sculpts were more akin to like the original Child's Play, Child's Play 2, and even movies past the point of Bride of Chucky because really they didn't have they didn't want to have the torn coveralls. And I even said during that review, a precursor maybe to then the one that we're having a look at here, that I'm wondering if they kept this figure held back for a subsequent release with his bride. And then lo and behold, what we what do we have here now? Well, what we have here now is, in all honesty, I think a better looking Chucky than what we had gotten for the other Chucky Ultimate figure. The head sculpt is definitely more akin, like I said, to the Bride of Chucky, where you've got the staples there featured on the side, the exposed eyeball, which is something that the other Chucky figure didn't have. And personally speaking, I think I really like this design a lot more. Now, those are two completely different designs for Chucky. Ultimately, the other Chucky I would probably display in the more possessed expression from Child's Play 1. Um, not the original good guy Chucky, but... Yeah, well, the more angrier expression Chucky is probably going to be how I display that figure. But I've always really wanted a re-release or an updated release to the Bride Chucky as one of my personal favorite designs for Child's Play's Chucky. Here you can see some exquisite stapling and stitching that the, Tiffany has done her best to try to put together Charles Lee Ray. And I think for the most part, again, like it's done really well. My hardest part would be in this instance, well, I do kind of prefer this head sculpt for Tiffany. I think Chucky, I'm gonna have a harder time of trying to figure out which head sculpt I wanna go with, because he comes with three. He comes with this head sculpt as well. Now here, we've got more of the hair kind of draping down the front. The expression is a little bit different as well. Here, he's a little bit more annoyed, I guess you could say. Here, he's a little bit more happier. There's the sides of the hair. And there's the backs. And try not to drop it, there's the other side. The other head sculpt that he comes included with this one is this one where he's laughing. Again, a real contender for how I want to display the figure. The exposed areas of his head are still very apparent on both. This, the stapling of the hair on the side of his head is also the same. This one, again, has a more sinister laughing expression. Kind of like this one still a little bit more. Paint is incredible on both these pieces. Got the airbrushing there on the cheeks. The redness there sort of peeking through where she'd been unable to stitch that part of his head together. You got, again, the stitches down below there and staples. Now to change out the head sculpt, you're just going to pop the head right off. He does have a ball joint, but it's small. Uh, putting it back on his head because he's he's a smaller figure. I do find it. I don't have as much the problem You still have to put a little bit of more pressure on it than what you would with Tiffany But it doesn't seem to give me as much the issue as Say for the likes of Pennywise the clown as you can see it's still a bit of an issue um, But there we go get that 100% in place. There we go. There we go there's the alternate head sculpt. I feel as if we could have easily gotten the same sort of pegging system we did get on Tiffany on Chucky as well. I'm not really sure why they opted to go with a, such a ball joint on him. It's not as difficult to get this head in place. One of the hardest figures I still find to this day to get the head properly in place was the original Pennywise clown. Just a very difficult thing. Even like with this head sculpt in place, I don't feel like it's 100% in place. I, I think that is one little nitpick about the figure. He really could have used the same peg system as what Tiffany had. Needless to say. The rest of the body, again, like I said, you've got the ripped open there co coveralls of the good guys. You can still see the good guys patch and the stitching there, but very now 
very, very ripped open. You can see the little gashes there of the fabric that's been ripped open there down below as well. Spin the figure around. Same sort of an idea here. I would have loved to have actually done a comparison between this one and the other Ultimate Chucky that we had already had a look at on this channel. Unfortunately, I'm not sure where I put it. Believe you me, believe you me, if I had it kicking around, if I had it at arm's reach, for example, I would do a comparison. So I promise we're gonna do a comparison uh, of the two figures in a future video. Just stay tuned for that. Uh, on the undersides of his feet, got no, none of the markings. It's just a regular treaded, untreaded sole, really, with peg holes on the undersides of his feet. Shoes are done quite good. I like that there's a little bit of texturing that's been added to the coveralls. You've still got the little printing, various different career choices that the good guy doll can go through. Being a firefighter, a construction worker, cowboy, doctor. And all the while we're doing that, we're also looking at just this additional texturing that they put into it. Really small, small details. I like that though. Even like the little rip in, rip in the side of his shirt. All stuff like this goes a long way for me. Now, posability for Chucky, his head rotates all the way around. It hinges up and down, side to side. Still doesn't 100% get in there. I said it actually wasn't as, e as difficult but ironically enough, I'm having more of a problem getting the head probably in place. I think, there we go, now I've got it 100%. Up and down, side to side, and again, the head rotates all the way around. Uh, the shoulders hinge out, similar to Tiffany, all the way around. Arms bend at the forearm bend there, and also allows the forearms to rotate, and the hands also do rotate all the way around. Uh, the legs split, they go forward, they go back, they bend at the knee, they rotate the lower leg, a little on the tighter side, but it still rotates side to side. And as for the feet, the feet hinge up and down, back and forth, and rotate all the way around as well. Now, when I did the, when we were looking at Chucky, I mentioned that I like this Chucky more than I like the original one. That's not 100% fair. I realized that with the Ultimate Chucky that we had previously gotten to this one, we had head sculpts that weren't this one. So it's hard to kind of do a comparison when you either like two different categories of Chucky. You either like the original Chucky's, which he doesn't look like this, or you like the Chucky that has the stapling and the stitching in his face. If you like primarily, say, Child's Play 1, 2, and 3 Chucky, you'll probably gravitate a little bit more towards that Ultimate Chucky. If you're fans of basically like Bride of Chucky onward, you might maybe move closer to wanting this one instead. Either way, both sets are great. This one does have the benefit of giving us now a Bride of Chucky look Chucky, as well as his bride, Tiffany. And again, depending on which head sculpt you want to go with, NECA gives you certainly enough options to mix and match to get the desired look you want for this new couple. Just before we wrap up this review, something else I wanna talk about for Chucky that I knew I was gonna forget, and I'm not gonna forget now, is the thinness of his thumbs, something that you wanna be weary of. Say we take, for example, oh, I don't know. Let's say we take the knife, for example. The hands, I would probably suggest bending them open manually before you try to fit an accessory in. I found the problem with his thumb, his thumb specifically, is the thumb is made of a very thin plastic and it's all by itself, just living all on its own, all by itself. If you're not careful when you are putting, say, weapons into his hand, I found that the thumb bent and started developing stress marks. You probably can't even see it now because I've since started this review, I've been kind of prying the hand back and forth to make sure it was open enough that I wasn't gonna have the same problem that I was facing earlier. I would probably suggest when you first get this figure out of packaging and you're ready to start putting weapons into his hand, pry his fingers or the four fingers away from his palm first. Don't just try to put the, in this case, knife into his hand. You'll notice that the thumb is gonna bend. And when it does so, you'll start seeing a little white the little white stress mark of death 
and then you'll know that you're starting to add too much stress to that little bit of thumb. Last thing you certainly would want is that thumb to start developing a stress mark to the point where it could break, it could warp, it could bend. So you may want to bend the four fingers prior to that before you put Chucky's weapons into his hand. Now I know you guys waited a while for this review, so sorry about that, so sorry old Bean. As the story sadly goes, here in Canada, distribution always takes a little bit longer when it comes to getting NECA pieces specifically, or really just anything's coming to comic book stores, we usually have to wait a little bit longer. So that was my reasoning why I couldn't have a look at this set earlier. Now having a look at this set, immediately picking it up and spending some much needed time with the two characters before finally hitting the record, I can tell you I adore this set. I adored the ultimate Chucky that we had already gotten before, but that Chucky, though I slightly diminished it in this review, I apologize for that as well, that is a great Chucky if you want to have the iconic looks of Charles Lee Ray from the earlier Child's Play films, prior to, of course, the staples, the scars, and everything else that is on Bride Chucky. This Chucky set does fill the void then needed for those fans of the Child's Play Bride of Chucky series, where Chucky has a very unique look to it. I wonder, I wonder, as this is really technically the second time that we've gotten Tiffany, if we'll ever get a seed of Chucky set that will include an ultimate Glen. I don't think anybody's really asking for an ultimate Glen. This one has a ton of interchangeable options, as you certainly saw over the course of this review. I love the fact that also they give you the options to revert Tiffany back to her bride doll look. And though that probably isn't going to be the look that you're going to be displaying the figure, it certainly does entertain the idea of getting a second set of these so you can display Tiffany in her original look. Like I said, with enough of the interchangeable options of different head sculpts, different hands, and different weapons, there's enough going for this set that this could easily be the best outing that NECA has released in 2018, 2019. This, along with the Ultimate Michael Myers, could be my top picks for some of NECA's best things that they've released in recent memory. For fans of Child's Play, even if you've already picked up the original Ultimate Chucky, there is a lot going on good with this set that you will want to pick up this one as well. Just unfortunately, you may have some problem with paint flaking, primarily with the bride doll arms. I'm still looking at my backdrop here and I see all these little flakes of white paint everywhere. Maybe your figure isn't the case, but I felt the need to mention it in this review because it's unfortunately the problem that I had with this figure. But that's okay. I'm probably never going to display her with that look anyways. This look here is as iconic as iconic can get. And I'm so glad I finally picked up this set and finally reviewed it so much later. Sorry again about that. Today we were having a look though at the new, this is the new Child's Play Bride of Chucky, Ultimate Chucky and Ultimate Tiffany, Ultimate Awesome. I'm going to wrap up this review and final looks with saying ultimate awesome. Be sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below because certainly more videos will be coming your way. And of course, we're going to have a look at some other NECA goodies in the upcoming reviews. So if NECA is your thing, it's my thing. If it's your thing as well, make sure you hit that little subscribe button because certainly more videos will be coming your way. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.